Spider Gwen Deanna Jones. Spider Man. Spider Man does whatever a Spider Man does. Spider stuff. Spider stuff. Spider stuff. Oh, spider stuff. Look out. There is some spider stuff. Um, looks like we have one person in here so far. Awesome possum. But yeah, I'm just going to wait for everybody to come in. I know it's a random assortment of things. It's the 4th of July. I'm wearing a Marvel superhero costume. And we're going to be playing an Indiana Jones game. But in the end, it's all American, right? It's 4th of July, America, yay. Um, but yeah. I got this costume. It was an impulse purchase. The best impulse purchase I could make. Hello. Welcome. Uh, yeah. I have Spider-Verse brain rot. I love um, Miguel O'Hara now. Well, Spider-Man 2099. He's, uh, I think he was my favorite. Is it you couldn't tell. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I decided to get this. Um, it's gonna be my last impulse purchase for a while. I haven't started my job since moving out here. And I'm not in panic mode or anything, thank you. But like, I am trying to conserve my money until my job start because, yeah. It's like I have a job and they're just kind of like, no, we want you to start way later than possible. So that's great. That's fun. But I mean, aside from that, living in California for, been living here for about a month now because tomorrow's like my month anniversary of like being out here. It's been pretty cool so far. Um, then again, June was pretty busy. I attended a wedding. Um, had friends coming and going from my place to visit me and roommates. Helped a friend film, um, 12 hours on the studio tour at Universal Studios. Went to Disneyland a couple times. Saw Rogers the Musical. It was crazy insane. Um, yeah. Rogers the Musical was cute, by the way, but the first virtual queue, because we managed to get the first virtual queue for the 1230 show, so like the first showing off the gate, yeah? And the line was packed. It was, it like, there was no line. It was an amorphous blob of people that also kept like spilling over into a photo pass line much to the frustration of a poor photo pass photographer who was just trying to do their job but it kept spilling over and people were just kind of all over the place nobody knew like whether to go in the standby line or where or what but then they let um the but as soon as they let the virtual queue people in i think everything started to smooth over just a bit it was just a blob of people for a while and everybody was less than happy to say the least show was cute though i did not get to eat that everything bagel dog and i'm kind of disappointed but it is what it is also how am i holding up by the way like is everything like gross and blood -da -da over here because this is like my first time filming, or not filming, but my first time going live in my new place, in case you couldn't tell. And I just want to make sure like everything is all, uh, like, you know, everything's smooth. Maybe not butter smooth, but yeah, it's, it's an interesting layout that 
Yeah, I got a test. Um, but yeah, we're, we'll wait for a few more people and we'll get started. Anyway, enough about my life. How's everybody else's lives doing? How is your 4th of July? Are you guys being patriotic or are we, what are we doing? What's going on? What is Zip 411? Orchestra gives you a pretty good view of... Orchestra for Rogers the Musical gives you a pretty good view, but like where we were sitting, it was a little off from the stage. So it was like orchestra, but like we were kind of covered under the ma mezzanine a little bit. And not to get into any spoilers, but there's like a little pop off of like streamers at one point, And we were in the place that there were no streamers or anything to catch. Where we, where me and my friends were sitting anyway. Awesome. Okay. Cool. We're sounding good and great. Um. Yeah. Cute songs. Um. I didn't see the Hawkeye series, so the whole Rogers the musical thing. I'm kind of missing out on a couple of inside jokes from that, but I. It doesn't matter. I. I still enjoyed it very much. I think. Nick Fury in that show was definitely one of the best parts. Supreme Court decision. The Supreme Court sucks, of course. Of course it does. 1776, that is a great musical. Love it. Nice. People got the day off. Um, I remember in... Junior high, I think it was either set. No, this was eighth grade. We were watching um, 1776 in my eighth grade um, social studies class. And the part with Paul Revere comes on. And I kid you not, my social study teacher stops the movie, pauses the movie and looks to us because we were an all girl class. My junior high was experimenting with like single sex, single gender classrooms. My, my junior high anyway, and she looks at us girls and she's like, girls, if you're ever going to find a man, find somebody like this Paul Revere, somebody who is such a dork because you're never going to get a better man like him. And I was like, damn, okay, miss something, something, something. Uh, Yeah. All right, I think we got like enough people. We got a good crowd of people in here. Um, I mean, I wouldn't say I'm like the biggest 1776 fan. I saw a good chunk of the movie and I liked what I saw. I liked Mr. Feeney as John Adams. That's good casting. Um, but like, I wouldn't say I'm like the biggest 1776 fan. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, I don't want to get too much into Rogers the Musical spoilers in case people are going to go out and see it. Um, it might have been Richard Henry Lee. Yeah, it might. Yeah, Richard Henry Lee. He had like a song and he was acting like a big dork on a horse. Might have been him. Might have been him. See, I haven't seen 1776 in a long time, so I'm... <laughs> Been a while junior high was over 10 years ago for me anyway so now that we got like a couple people in let's see if we can run indiana jones and the fate of atlantis and not wreck my computer fingers crossed all right here we go here we go here we go here we go Please work, please work, 
Please work. Adios, Satipa. You know, learning that, um, excuse me, I want to play this game. Learning that Alfred Molina was in the beginning of Raiders of the Lost Ark, that always blew my mind. You know? I still need to see the AVGN about the new video games. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure AVGN covers Fate of Atlantis, and I'm excited to see, to hear his thoughts about it, but I haven't heard anything. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Please don't wreck my computer. Yeah, yeah, it's, that's interesting that uh, Alfred Molina is married to Jennifer Lee. Uh, there was like a meme going around of like their wedding and like, you know, how the bride walks down and like, you know, how the groom sees the bride for the first time and he's just like looking at her just near tears. Like, damn. Yeah. I've got, got my water bottle right here. I've got this s'mores trail mix uh, that I'm trying to save for later this week. Cause later this week I'm Saturday, this Saturday I'm starting a new job. Like, yeah, and like, it's gonna be the first day orientation on the job. So that'll be interesting what that job is. I'm not gonna say anything for the sake of anonymousness, anonymity. Anomina, do 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 do. Anomina, do 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 do. Anomina, do 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 do. All right, okay, we're getting somewhere. Let's go. I surprise myself sometimes. Ooh. It's not only my, my only job, my second job starts later in July. I'm not telling you what that is either. Let me know if anything's like too loud too. Yeah, I'm gonna try to see it tomorrow. Um, just trying to save like money and stuff, but like the Dial of Destiny is something that I need to see. My mom has already seen it and she's texting me already to go see it soon so that we have things to talk about. Hello! Um, all right, well, we're doing good so far. All right, Jones. All right, Jones. Why that statue and all this junk? Let's see. Let's take a look at that gargoyle. It's a medieval gargoyle. Good imitation. This doesn't sound like Harrison Ford in the slightest, but that's okay. Is that it? It's a stone carving of Shiva. Some kind of funeral art. Peculiar and peculiar statue. Oh. Indiana Jones Oof. just also happens to work in the most dangerous museum ever. Indiana Jones has laid dead. Here, give me a second. I'm gonna go ahead and... Oh, wait, I can just... I thought I could just go down the volume. Anyway, let's see. Big crate. 
label says unidentified pot shirts. I thought that said unidentified potheads. I'm like, dang, you're really calling out the other college kids on campus, aren't you, Indy? Marcus thought Potlatch Indians carved this. Looks like a movie prop to me. Everything's a movie prop, Jones. Looks like textiles from the Shamit collection. Looks like textiles from the Shamit collection. Yeah, I when I was at Disneyland the other day for um, Rogers the Musical, we were over in Adventureland for Bengal Barbecue, and I saw the the um, pinball machine return to its rightful place. Yeah, I know. Movies lying about Native Americans. No way. What about these shelves over here? Looks like beadwork from the Phoenix Collection. Arizona? the gaping hole. Looks dangerous. Yeah, you work in the most dangerous museum on Earth, Indy. Oh no! Indiana Jones has been crushed. Adventure City. I'm trying to- I kind of want to make it a mission to go see Adventure City at some point. Books on tools. I've read them all. What about cow tools? Books on pots. I don't need them. They're just textbooks. No, they're not textbooks. They're books on pots. There's a difference, right? <laughs> right? All right. Books on dig sites. There's nothing of importance here. What about books on statues? That's important. These books don't look familiar. Uh oh. Oh no, we killed him. <laughs> Again. Oh, okay. So it's like, it might be like that Legoland that was in, um, that's in, uh, Arizona Mills Mall, where it's Legoland, but you need a small child to get in because it's all for little baby children. That's why I never got in there ever. Better get that roof checked. Yeah! This is supposed to be a top class, a, like a top class college. Why is your roof breaking? Why do you have temple traps in here? Fast. Cat goddess of fertility. Shoot. Looks pretty slippery. You're gonna slip down over there, aren't you? Slippery. Yeah, it does. Go, go, Looks slip down. Slippery. Come on. Looks pretty slippery. Yeah, it does. Jones. Looks pretty slippery. Looks pretty slippery. Jones. Looks pretty slippery. Looks pretty slippery. Moulin Rouge is a great movie. I love Moulin Rouge. It is so awesome. Looks pretty slippery. What do you want me to do? There's nowhere else to go. Jones. Jeez. No. A lot of the, uh, a lot of the little sound effects are giving me Rugrats vibes. Indiana Jones burned up and died for 
furnace. It's hot. Yep. A fine sample of bitumen. Okay, nerd. I'll be. I'll be. Here's what I've been searching for. Strange looking thing. I wonder where Marcus picked it up. I'm sorry, uh, restless spirits have interrupted our stream. Please remain seated in your doom buggy, and we will continue our tour stream momentarily. Uh, well, it's a good game when it works. I don't know what happened. I'm sorry about that. Give me a second. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on. Sorry about that. I I I don't know what's going on. Ugh. Oh shit, my YouTube is not receiving enough bit what the sh is going on what is going on what are we doing what are we doing what are we doing <laughs> this is my canon event Here, give I'm I'm gonna let it give it a second to catch its breath with whatever it's doing. We we good? Is my internet okay? Should be. Okay. Okay, looks like looks like the freak out's done. I don't know what caused it to freak out. Not sure. Okay. Can we try again? Please? I didn't even click on nothing.
Why you do this? Why you do this? Barbie. Okay. Maybe if we try this again and don't insult Indiana Jones while we work, maybe, just maybe, it'll work out in our favor. Here, I'm even going to turn off the Wi-Fi on my phone really quick just to make sure everything's all kosher. And it's going to start over. And it's going to kind of suck for everybody. Here. There we go. I'm going to turn it down. The university is well funded and those floors never break. Okay, maybe that will help. <laughs> okay. Come on, Indy. You see, I don't really care about Christopher Nolan movies anymore. I'm not very excited about, I don't get excited about them anymore. That's just my personal preference. Barbie just looks like more fun to me as a Barbie enjoyer. At some point, I'm gonna try to do another stream of Barbie games because there are times when I try to do streams of Barbie games and meh. But even then, I love me some Barbie. I am indeed a Barbie girl living in a Barbie world. Life, it's plastic. And it's fantastic. All right. One more time. No, we're updating this later. Oh my gosh, come on. Okay. This might be a sign that something's working. <laughs> All right, and now that it's a little more quiet for me and maybe for you guys. I don't know what no hard feelings is, so I don't know. Okay, here we go. We're starting again. This is like the Indiana Jones ride at Disneyland where you're pretty much, where you're, you start at the beginning and then you're stuck and then you have to like restart through everything again. Yeah, I could trade that Barbie Explorer game. I have a PS1 emulator on my computer. How it works well with my internet and everything. Who's to say? But I have that Barbie Explorer game. We could try it, but that could be overkill for poor old Bessie over here. A computer that was meant for somebody way, way older than me because this was my grandfather's PC before he passed away. You know what? This also started with Indiana Jones breaking and entering his own workplace. Like a fool. Candlestick. Chest. Marcus still thinks his chest belonged to Columbus. Marcus is a fool. It's a copy of an Egyptian statue of Horus. Oh, right. Oh, wait, hang on. There we go. If 
got Taurus. That's a gargoyle. It's a medieval gargoyle. It's a medieval good imitation. Or good imitation. Statue. It's a stone carving of Shiva. Oh no! But also, why would a college university have a trapdoor in the first place? Like, you know this college is doing some pretty shady stuff if they've got trapdoors. You know what I mean? Okay. I'm alive again. Hang on. Okay, we already know what's going on over here. He falls down. We're gonna see this later in the game anyway. I'm also one of those people that pulls up a strategy guide as I play because I'm a basic person like that, so... Let's go to the exit. The stairway is closed for repairs. Oh no. These books don't look familiar. Uh-oh. And then he gets smushed. <clears throat> Pre-release Toy Story the same day. Here, I'm gonna let Indy lie dead on the floor for a little bit. I'm gonna go grab some sparkling water. I'll be right back. Better get that roof check. Mr. Potato Head statue in the studio tour? Did not know that. Anyway, um, my roommate is big into this sparkling water brand called Aura Bora, and their flavors are really, really good. This is the Ginger Meyer Lemon one. It is delicious. I am somebody that is into ginger. Um, but yeah, if you want to try sparkling water, highly recommend. I think you order these online. I don't know where they sell them. All right, anyway, cat figurine. A copy of a Siamese idol. Okay, this is... Yeah, Ora Bora. At this time of day, in this part of the country, located... Located directly within your room. Yes. May I see it? No. See more. The house is on fire. No, mother. It's just the northern lights. I'll be. I'll be. It's okay. What searching for. It's what you've been searching for. Okay. Yay! I wonder where Marcus picked it up. Wonder where Marcus picked it up. God, knowing you guys, it could be anywhere. At some point, I also want to go through the Miss series because this company announced that they're uh This company announced that they um got like a hundred plus hours of footage of the behind the scenes of the making of the Miss series and that they've restored it and I'm very excited as a fan of the Miss series. 
I'm back. Oh no. Indy? You don't look at all well, Oh, I'm gonna about to give something to an actual Nazi, aren't I? What was your name again? Smith. You don't look like a Tell Smith. Me. Tell me. A lock to match my key? You bet I did. Take a look. What are you waiting for? Let's open it. That looks like the Shovel Knight. You're missing, so doctor. I think we're opening a new chapter in history. My word, only a small metal piece. Jewelry, perhaps? I still think it's a fake. I still think it's a fake. Then you won't mind if I take it. Really, Mr. Smith? Really, Mr. Smith? Stand back, gentlemen. I hope you've got a getaway car waiting. You'll need one. Indy, don't you have a gun somewhere? It's the 40s. You could shoot him. Oh, okay. He got away. He got away. We got his coat, Marcus. So we know where he's Maybe going. This. So his name's not Smith after all. Klaus Kerner. Huh? Klaus Kerner. The man's some sort of agent for the Third Reich. I hate Nazis. Old as balls, Marcus. I don't come from national. My first real job. Who's the woman? The the pixelated lady. She was my assistant. Sophia Hapgood. Boston, rebelling against her family. But where is she now? She gave She's up archaeology to become a psychic. She's scamming. You can say that again. Indy, Kerner found you. What if he finds her? We should warn him. I, my, I grew up with my mom playing the Miss series. You're right. I want to know more about that statue. You know, Marcus, the coldest year of my life was the one I spent in Iceland with Sophia. I bet. All right. So first we got to get the newspaper from here. Hi, Jen. Pick up newspaper. Okay. Walk to phone booth. Let's use the phone booth. I can't make a call. I'm out of nickels. I'm out of nickels. Look at Marquee. Imagine the suckers who actually pay to see Sophia's Lost World lectures. All right. Now here is where I break out the strategy guide, because... Okay, let's walk over to the crate. Can we pick up the crate? Can't pick that up. Can we look at the crate? Can we look at the crate? It's a crate! It's a crate. Yes it is! Sorry. And the fate of Atlantis. Walk through. Because I know there's, this is like one of the games that has like a lot of different outcomes, like depending on how you do it. Okay, take the newspaper. Open the back door. It's unlocked. It's unlocked. What do you want, pal? This ain't no ticket office. 
this ain't no ticket office. I'm the fire inspector. What do you take me for, a moron? Wait a minute. What now? Wait a minute. What now, buddy? I really need to talk to your star. That's what they all say. I think there's a misunderstanding here. Are you calling me stupid? No, sirree. Lucky for you. Now beat it. Wait a minute. What now, buddy? Yeah, I don't want to fight him, though. I'm with the band. Madame Sophia doesn't give a damn. I'm gonna try to do this without Wait fighting. Hello. I really need to talk to your star. That's what they all say, Matt. I've got to see her. She's the most wonderful woman. Don't kid around, pal. You're Don't. talking about my idol. No kidding. I think she's the greatest. Me. Dang. Very smart. But all no, I'll say you know what I really like is the way he used to shake you. The way she makes things easy to understand. That's it. All that smart stuff seems so easy when I'm listening to her say you're okay for, for a college boy. Come on, college in. boy. This man is in his like thirties or forties. Alrighty, so back when I was streaming on Twitch, I remember streaming this game and getting stuck here, not knowing to, you know, give the newspaper to this guy. And I go talk to the stagehand. Excuse me. Aha! You must be the new doorman. About time they got rid of Biff. He was such Biff! A Biff? Back to the future, Biff? Write her a letter. Hold on. You can't go out there. Think it easy and watch the show. Hey. One of my friends is a phantom. As it might have appeared in its heyday. Glorious. It looks really pixelated. And technically advanced. Beyond our wildest dreams. This just looks like the 1920s movie Metropolis. Atlantis is a Fritz Lang movie. Who knew? I still need to see Dial of Destiny. No spoilers, please or thank you. I'm gonna go see it tomorrow. Centuries later, the famous philosopher Plato wrote about it. He placed Atlantis on a continent out in the deep ocean. Then, and then a couple years ago, a bunch of people from the U.S. government went to explore it and never came back. Isn't she something? She can go on for hours. She could go on for hours. Hey. Hey. She's just coming to the exciting part. What befell the serene city? We may never know for sure. That Was looks like Singapore. I don't think that's Atlantis. Suddenly shifting. Famous philosopher Plato. Panic must have gripped the citizens. <laughs> the sharp pixel edges were their main means of defense. Eruption or a UFO. This is an Indiana Jones movie, and sometimes we lean into science fiction, and it's not always the wisest decision. I've been through this a hundred times. The woman never stops. The woman never stops. Hold on. She's still talking. She's still talking. Wait. Wait. She's still talking. She's still talking. Okay, 
So now we need to give the newspaper to the stagehand. Excuse me. Yeah, what now? I've got a newspaper here. So you do. Aren't you wondering about events of the day? I don't know. I don't know, baby. How'd you like today's newspaper? Well, well, the late edition. I wonder if the Dodgers won. Watch the lights while I find out, okay? Okay, push the right. Okay, give paper to stagehand. Push the right. Push right lever. And then push the left lever. And push. Where's button? Where's the button? Oh, okay. Push button. There we go. There it goes. Wee. It's a Scooby Doo villain. Thanks, Indy. Indy. Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones. Oh, great. You see, I don't think. I personally don't think science fiction and Indiana Jones should exist. We should take the stagehand lever and push it somewhere else. Stay put. No one here. Nor here either. I was right here the entire time. Surprise! <laughs> Dr. Uberman, fantastic news. We found the treasure. We have found the treasure. Alright. the second time Kerner slipped away. Does a Nazi spy want with old statues? I don't know, Indy. You fought Nazi spies over old statues before. Or, you know, old objects. Why do you think they want them? Come on, Indy. Let's use that noggin. Results are years away. Oh, right, they're talking about Which atom bombs and stuff. That's why they're looking for the power of Atlantis. Power of Atlantis. Be serious. Be serious. Excuse me. I used to think you'd make a good scientist. Yet you stole things from my expedition. Mm -hmm. Artifacts such as archaeology has never seen. <laughs> Get her. Get her. You're lucky I don't have you arrested. So what if I kept a few pieces for myself? Look for a small coppery bead under those clippings in my desk. What do you know? Kerner missed the grand prize. What? My necklace. Watch closely. The bead is made of auric calcum. Auric calcum? You mean the stuff that they use in them Final Fantasy games? Bzzz. Oh, it's a bouncy pixelated images. Did 
you see that? No. Yeah, creepy. Is your electric bill paid up? That was Nurat's sound. The spirit is close. Don't try your psychic act on me. Suppose I gave this oracalcum business any credence, which I don't. I didn't realize it was pronounced oracalcum, too. I always thought it was auriculum. I don't know why. We have no idea where to find your mythical lost city. Shh. Well, you gotta. speaks. He says. What? Over a book, yes. The Lost Dialogue of Plato. Another fine myth. Well, I mean, I feel like Milo Thatch would be the best person to go to, but of course he doesn't exist because that movie was years before this video game. That book is a legendary hoax. It's a legendary hoax. Nazis have already found a copy. You ever think of that? Hmm. Hmm. No, I didn't. You found this stuff in Iceland, right? Yes, near our old dig site. I thought so. Who's working there these days? Bjorn Heimdall, I believe. Bjorn Heimdall. Pay him a visit. What do you say? I thought you'd never ask. Now we go to Iceland. Talk to Dr. Bjorn Hamdell. This is my dig site now. Go away. I thought you were digging up Norse graves in Denmark. I was. Obviously now I'm not. Feeling very friendly today, are we? I like solitude. I like the solitude. It helps me think. Doctor, what do you expect to find here? The secret of Iceland area. That's what the Greeks called Iceland in days. You've read how they sailed north to a fog shrouded land and how they never set foot upon it. <laughs> After traveling thousands of miles, near Tell me, future boy, who's the action star in 1985? Harrison Ford? Harrison Ford? The carpenter? I don't know, but maybe Sophia has an idea. Forget it. I'll just tell you. We were stopped by a first field. Put here right here. The first field. Oh, jeez, aliens. Oh, that's fascinating, Doctor. Have you ever heard of Plato's Lost Dialogue? But I've yet to see it. There are two people yet I'd want to meet him. Charles Sternhart in Chicago. I swear to tell him. A shady fellow. He translated the whole thing. She kind of does look like Roxanne. But I think she's kind of annoying. So the minute like there's a choice to kind of leave her behind, I'm going to do that. They claim to Earth to form the colonies like Atlantis. So what's the link between Hyperborea and Atlantis? Try the Yastro expedition, the one you both worked on. Recently I saw pieces from it, pieces that are clearly Atlantean. They're clearly Atlantean. Actually, somebody must have been selling them. Go ahead, blame it all on me. I will. So you completely discount the supernatural? Completely. Completely. Supernatural, you ask? Talk to Sternhart and Sophia. So 
Come on. Good luck, fellow believers. Okay. So now we gotta go over to Tikal or Tikali. I think it's Tikal or Tikali. Also, if you hear bangs, it's because people are shooting off trucks. Hi, Agatha Viles roommate. Good to see you. Let's head for the airport. Oh, we go to the airport. We're not going to take in any of Iceland's natural beauty or anything. Bzzz. Meow. Hope you're doing well today, Agatha's roommate. Tell Agatha I say hi. Welcome to the jungle. We got fun and games. Hit jungle rodent several times with rip whip until it runs to the snake. Dang it. You can whip at that snake, Indy. This was taken a oh, wait a minute. Ago. Okay. Oh my gosh! It's a Charlie! It's a theme snark! Here he is! And we are soaring over Windows 3. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, use whip with giant anaconda. That doesn't seem to work. Okay. So it looks like we gotta go. We gotta whip that. That. Use whip with. I don't think that'll work. Okay. Okay. It looks like we gotta walk back to the entrance of the jungle. Where is that rodent? It could be useful in the right spot. Use whip with jungle rodent. I'm sorry, jungle rodent. Use whip with jungle rodent. There we go. Use whip with jungle too far away. <laughs> that critter's too far away. Okay, so then let's walk over here and we'll use whip with jungle rodent. There we go. Let's try... Okay, use whip with jungle rodent. That just sounds wrong. Okay, how many times do I have to whip this jungle rodent? How many times? How many times? How many times? That critter's too far away. Okay. Yeah, whoever is talking about 
drama stuff, please don't do that on my stream. Don't bring it up or whatever. Uh, I don't want to have to come down with the ban hammer. Thank you. Okay, come on. Is this gonna work this time? Wait a minute. Okay, we gotta go. Is it this entrance that takes you over to the snake? Okay. It is. So we gotta go. We gotta get him over to that entrance. Cool. Okay. No, use whip. Okay, there we go. So I gotta get him in front of the entrance. Or, you know, yeah, this is the, uh, this is Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. And I don't think it does the Konami code. Okay. Alright, I'm just gonna get it right there, because I think that's it. Use, jump, use... Okay, there we go. We're getting somewhere. That's violent. Good old Mother Nature. Okay, sorry, give me a second. All right, give me just a second. Sorry. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Sorry, give me a second. Who is this? Yeah. Okay. All right. So just so I don't have to deal with stuff anymore, I just kind of put somebody who is causing drama into time out. Yeah, I'm I'm sorry that I, I kind of let him go on as for as long as he did. That was on me. Um Yeah. I'm sorry about that, guys. I thought maybe he would be okay, but then he brought up the other stuff and no. Um that's I, I can't do that anymore. Um Yeah, in the future, um, definitely gonna be keeping a better eye out and stuff. And yeah, I, I apologize for letting that go as long as it did. Anyway. Yeah, I know. I know, I know, I know. The <laughs> tone, I know it. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Cool. So. Now that that's taken care of, we can resume this in peace. Um, use 
whip with tree. I don't think that'll work. What do you mean you don't think it'll work? <sighs> I guess use tree. Okay, cool. Hi, Andy. Hello. How did you get over here? I walked. While you were off bushwhacking, I found a path. Bushwhacking. What do we do now? We better find Sternheart. Okay, so we find Sternheart. Where is he at? Look at kerosene lamp. Just a minute. Just a minute. Okay, there you are. Where did you come from and where did you go? Podcast. Replicas of the temple. Replicas of the tuna. Temple. Souvenir mugs. Uh, no thanks, Mr. Charles Sternhardt, PhD. Charles Sternhardt. Researcher and merchant. So what can you tell us about Plato's lost diet? Now we go through with the motions. I can tell you that. Sternheart does sound like a less popular Care Bear. Oh no! Oh no! What can you tell us about Mr. Smith? He showed up last week, a tall man with a German accent and a pistol. He could have taken all my souvenirs, but he only wanted the lost dialogue. What can you tell us about the temple? You are. The locals claim my innocence. Now I ask you, does this look like the work of primitive savages? Oh, this guy is racist, racist. <laughs> Can we take a look inside? How do I know that you aren't a fairly silly story? This is Indiana Jones, dude. <laughs> are you kidding me? I'm Dr. Indiana Jones. Oh, who's the additional beer? It's a cherry! Tell Cherry I say hi and that I love her. Actually, it was the name of the dog. Sophia. <laughs> we named the dog Indy. I'm hoping to find some evidence of Atlantis here. Evidence is easy. You're surrounded by it. Proof? Now that's hard. I'd really like to explore the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue. <sighs> okay, give me just a second. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know the title. Give me a second. Obviously, you're not serious about this. Sorry again. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Let's go talk to that parrot. Oh, wait a minute. You guys can't even see anything. Oopsie doodle. Give me a second. <laughs> Oops.
title. There we go. Title. Title. Hermocrates. 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 I want that kerosene lamp. Kerosene lamp. Well now, let me guess. Hey. Cherry yeah. Jones. That sounds like an interesting name. You and the little woman decided to take home that special mug. That special me. mug. About exploring the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue on tape. Hermocrates. The Hermocrates. We Next. did it. Well now, perhaps I was wrong. I don't trust this guy, Indy. I know what you mean. Come on. Here we are. See what you can do. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay. Alright. Uh, I wish I knew an actual archaeologist. Apparently, Indiana Jones has done a lot to damage, like, the actual field of archaeology, because everybody thinks it's all adventures and things, and it's not. But that's okay! Because, I mean, Indiana Jones isn't the worst thing. Um, alrighty. So, alright, back to it. Got distracted. Alright, talk to Sternhart. Title, go into the pyramid. Inside the pyramid. Okay. Oh, wait. Talk to Sophia. Talk to you, Sophia. What's up? Um Could you talk to Sternhart and keep him occupied? Okay. Dr. Sternhart, I'd like to speak to you. Okay, cool. The eggs go on the cheese. The cheese goes on the eggs. The eggs go on the cheese. The cheese goes on the eggs. The eggs go on the cheese. The cheese goes on the eggs. Alrighty. We are going to pick up the kerosene lamp. What's a not what's a little stealing among friends? Okay. Walk to temple. I'm not providing any more context either. Don't worry. I'll wait. Excuse me. Let's see what your friend is up to. Okay. Open kerosene lamp. Talk to spiral designs. Use open kerosene lamp with spiral designs. You took my lamp, eh? You took my lamp. Don't you know what you're doing? I hope you know what you're doing. Look, the kerosene ate away the tarnish. Remarkable. Remarkable. Okay. Kerosene. Walk to animal head. Pull animal head. Move it. How can you not move it? 
Can I look at the... No, can I look at the spiral design? This one looks different, more deeply etched. I whip. Okay, well, let me see. Can I use whip? Animal head? That doesn't work. Okay, can we use... Tempting. Okay, use lamp to get the spiral design of the pyramid, then use the design with the animal head. Pull it. I can't move it. Okay, there's the animal head. Can we pull this? Now I got it. Oh, okay, I see it. I understand now. Okay. Then use the design with the animal head. Use spiral design with animal head. It fits perfectly. Now it looks kind of like an elephant. Amazing. And pull elephant Can't head. Use elephant head with whip. Well, that doesn't work. Okay. Pull. I can't move it. Well, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> do I pull? I thought this walkthrough that I'm reading was gonna help me. And it's not. Okay. Use lamp to get the spiral designs in pyramid. Use design with the animal head. And pull it and open the grave. Are you kidding me? I can't believe... You have to be that specific? You have to be that specific? That's a Mayan king. We did it. Okay, cool. We got this. We're doing it. We're making it happen. Oh no, he got away. Oh. Okay. Well, whatever. We're just gonna go back to Iceland now. Okay, so whatever. I want to walk to the path around the jungle. Okay, use truck. Let's find the airport. Wind in your sails. I'm gonna go back to Iceland because I think that guy is dead now. Because that's what I remember in this game. You leave that guy alone for a bit and he dies. to the old grave set. Pardon me. Okay. We're back with this guy. What is this thing you're working on? Okay, aliens, aliens. What is this eel artifact again? I already told you, it's a, a, an Atlantean sea trap. I think. So long. Good luck, fellow believer. 
Well, I can't put the... Excuse me. What's on your mind? I think the good doctor's got frostbite of the brain. I'll say, spaceman my eye. Oh, we didn't take the bead. We gotta take the bead, okay. We forgot. Oopsie doodle, that's okay. Use truck. Okay, so we gotta go back over to, uh, to Kyle. To get the bead. To find the key that must be found. Where's the bead? Where's the bead? Where's the beautiful bead? Find the bead, find the bead. Oh, how happy you'll be. Hey, Ashley. Welcome. Okay. I forgot to get something. Yeah. 1940s airline miles went far. Okay. Pick up shiny bead. The Oracalcum bead. bead. Now he can make the Ultima weapon. The Ultima Keyblade. Okay, now we gotta go to Iceland, because at this point our our homie in Iceland is dead by now. Alrighty, I'm gonna take Okay. Use truck. I uh, know. Use. This game is really picky about where you about where you click. Crab experiments. Okay. Back into Iceland. Okay. <laughs> Lucas Hart's tagline for the year. Tricky look about you. The legend of Grimace Island. All he wanted was for people to celebrate his birthday, and oh, look at that. Oh no, he's frozen. He was frozen today. Let's talk to him. Sorry, give me just a second. Okay. Let's... Let's look at him. Too bad, he's frozen solid. A little too dedicated to his work, I guess. Okay, so now we need to use the or Orcalum in the exposed deal head. It's perfect. Whoa! Bzzz. Congratulations. It melted itself right out of the eyes. Pick up heel figurine. Yay, we did it. Okay. Okay. 
Now we use the truck. We go back to the airport. Let's head for the airport. And now we go to the Azores. All the way in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Oh god, not the Irish gnome. No, no, no! You're doing it wrong! Okay, so now it says to let Sophia talk to the doctor. This is his house? Yep. This is it. Hi! Okay, so now... Talk to Sophia. Listen. Yes. Listen. So why don't you talk to him? My pleasure. Okay. So let's for so let Sophia. Talk to door. Nope. Use door. Open door. There we go. Mr. Costa. This better be important. Are you sure you know what you're doing? You told her to talk. Of course you know she knows what she's doing. Hello, beautiful. Hello, beautiful. Oh, it's an old man. Hey everyone, an old man's talking. Professor Costa, my name is Sophia Hapgood. Madam Sophia? Have Madam Sophia? Need your help. At your service. What can you tell us about Plato's lost dialogue? What do you want to know? Do you have it? Have it? No. Nope. Have you read it? Yep. Nope. Nope. Do you know what's in it? Nope. Not exactly. Can you get it for me? Sorry. Do you know where we could find it? Well now, that depends. I might play the information for a rare Atlantean artifact, such as a certain necklace I've heard about. I'll never trade away my necklace. Well then, if that's how you feel, surprise me. Could you do business with my friend here? Madam, I'll do business with anyone. Thanks for your help. Goodbye for now. At your command, madam. Okay, cool. Now we're back to Indy. Don't be a stranger now. Don't be a stranger now. He's a sweet old guy. Traitor. Okay, talk to Indy. Listen. Listen. Yes. I think you better take over. I think you better Okay, I'll give it a try. Alrighty, open door. Knock, knock. Mr. Costa? Keep your shirt on. Be firm, but polite. I suppose you're selling something. If it's not a priceless artifact, I don't want it. Let's talk about a trade. Let's talk about a trade. Okay. We're gonna get of a crafty Indiana Jones. I'm offering this mysterious eel figurine. Now that looks interesting. Now that looks interesting. You got a deal, mister. You got a deal, mister. Now listen carefully. I don't know exactly where to find it, but the lost dialogue of Plato is in the Ward Collection. Got that? I think so. The Ward Collection. Very good. Nice doing business with you. Nice doing business with you. The Ward Collection. You know something, Sophia? I believe Barnett College owns the Ward Collection. A research laboratory somewhere in Germany. Dr. Uberman. Fantastic news. Dr. Uberman. 
I love these stupid over the top er German accents. They are so dumb. It's great. Yeah, Dr. Uberman. <laughs> the scientist's rifle is Dr. Lipman. No, Dr. Lipfrau. Uberman, Lipfrau. Frau is German for woman. Or, you know, Miss. Doc they might as well just name him Dr. Nazi Pants. That thing does not like Nazis. The ping pong balls! Yeah, Dr. Nazi Pants did do the ping pong ball demonstration on Disneyland's opening day. The ping pong balls. The ping pong balls. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. You saw that? It's like I'm not I'm not doing anything with this Nazi nonsense. I'm out of here. No more. We're we're not dealing with this. Sink of airplanes. Oh no. Not bombs. We just fix that whole scheisse. Am I allowed to swear in German on YouTube? Think of the crab experiments. Maybe. Okay, so now apparently in this portion of the game, it changes. Plato's lost dialogue should be here somewhere. Need some help? You don't. You don't have tenure. Fine. Rub my nose in it. I'll meet you in your office. Okay. So walk to the stairs. Take gum from desk in library. Let's see. Walk to rope. <sighs> Use rope. There we go. Okay. Maybe push the big crate? Open. Open dusty old chest. Okay. Look at dusty old chest. I believe it's part of the old Sprague collection. I can't reach it. Arrowhead. Pick up arrowhead? Okay. So we got an arrowhead. So use jar from refrigerator and office. So we gotta go back down to the office, I think. Okay. 
Here's the fun part. Yeah, you'd think, like, he would know to use his whip for things, but... Let's see. We walk to the office. Walk to stairs. Maybe coal? Is there a rag in the furnace room? Okay. Pick up dirty rag. Get the rag from the furnace room and the hero. Okay, cool. Use rag. Okay, use dirty rag with arrowhead. So use rag with dirty arrowhead. Produce a screwdriver. Okay, open bookcase in the library. Okay, cool. I got it. I did it. Cool. I, I, I know what I'm doing now. Where does... I, this game takes place in World War II. So sometime in the 40s. I want to say... 1941-ish, 1940. And then... Okay, get the rag from the furnace room, use rag with the arrowhead to produce screwdriver, and open bookcase in the library. Okay. So use wrapped arrowhead with tipped over bookcase. That didn't do anything. That didn't do anything. Well, we're in the library, yeah? This is the library. I think I've read them all. I don't think that'll work. Walk. Oh! <sighs> of course. Yeah, I'm thinking around, like, World War II times, because... There we go. It's unscrewed. Walk to screw... Use wrapped arrowhead with screw. It's unscrewed. It's one of those games where you have to be just incredibly picky with where you it's click. Unscrewed. Walk to screw. Walk to screw. Use that on screw. It's unscrewed. Walk to screw. Use that with screw. It's unscrewed. All right. Well, thank you for joining me, Bree. Open tipped over bookcase. Here it is. The Here it is. Woohoo! We did it. Okay. So now that we got that. Talk to Sophia. Let's go back to the office. Your office is across the street. Cool, cool, cool. Now here's the part where you get to choose your own adventure. I got it. I I got it. Really? Our jungle friend Skirthunt is quite the scholar. Let me see. Now at last I have Plato's lost dialogue translated entirely. The Greek original is lost, and so I've used the Arabic text I found in an Italian monastery years ago and always thought it was a hoax. Now I wonder. Could this remarkable book hold the secret to long-lost Atlantis? Probably not. No one will publish it, that's for certain. The fear of ridicule is too great. To be saved, I've sent a copy to Ward. Charles Sternhart, London, 1922. Now, this could be a fake, too. Or, you know, you could have mistranslated something, because translating from Greek to Arabic and then Arabic to Italian, maybe, and then that to English, there's gotta be a mistranslation somewhere. And it is said that dwellers in Atlantis had no horses nor any need for them. Or Callum, the metal that glitters like fire, this they had instead. They cast it into shiny beads and used them as we do minted coins. 
paying statues to do their work as if by magic. Where their colonies were failing, wise men carved strange devices out of amber to search for the metal, but only proud Atlantis ever yielded a supply. Socrates, you have called the kingdom wealthy, but surely this is absurd. No. no, it's much too vague. Our only hope is supernatural inspiration. Girl, no. You mean your old pal, Nureb Sal? If I can make contact, yes. Where's my spirit guide when I need him? Come on, Sophia. The answer's in the book, not outer space. It's not outer no, space. Why is that so important? Plato's error means distances could also be wrong. So what if they are? Is right. Atlantis is in the Mediterranean. You mean 300 miles from Greece instead of 3,000? Yes, the cradle of civilization. You could be right. You could be right. I could be wrong. You told me he came from the middle of the world. That's what Mediterranean means. Enough with your fantasies. I'm talking. I don't want to work with Wait. her. He's saying That or a calcum sure is spooky stuff. Spooky? Haven't you learned anything? Among the artifacts that Kerner stole was the small stone disc with a hole in it. I'm sure it was one of the three stones mentioned in Plato's book. And I didn't find it. I bought it from Alain Trottier in Monte Carlo. Alain Trottier. We talk to enough of these nutcases. Or was it Omar Al Jabbar in Algiers? Either way, Algiers or Monte Carlo. This much I do know. We need all three stones if we want to find Atlantis. I'll go, but you're staying here. We'll see about that. First, I'm going to tell you a fortune. Look into my eyes. Deep into my eyes. For Pete's sake, I'm not going to hurt you. Now hold still. You are a remarkable man, Dr. Jones. You possess great strength of character. You are resourceful. Mm -hmm. You trust others and want them to trust you. Mm -hmm. The most promising path to Atlantis, therefore, is the one we both must take together as a team. I don't want to. I'd rather think my way through. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. I like to think. All right, cool. I'm taking the thinking okay. path. If that's how you feel. You're on yeah. your own. Good luck. That is how I feel. Take care of yourself. Don't talk to any strange Nazi. That's good advice. Okay, now I gotta figure out how to save this. How do you save in Scum VM? VM? Because I actually want to try this and not have to start over every time I play this stupid game. You know what I mean? Oh my gosh! Cherry! Mm. Okay, give me a second. How to save in... Um, VM. Okay, control F5. Cool. Save. New save. Wits. Cool. All right, um, it's been a, like an hour and 45 minutes or so. I think I'm good.
So let's go ahead and get on out of this. And yeah. Um, thank you guys for joining the stream. I'm sorry there was like a little bit of a blah, blah, blah during it, but we got it under control. Um, and I'm sorry I didn't act sooner. I kind of need to get on top of things to act sooner. But yeah, probably should get on top of things better. Bringing things, that is. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope to do more cosplay streams like this at some point because, like, I need some way to possibly monetize this impulse purchase. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Um, if you liked what you just watched, um, go ahead, like, share, subscribe, all that good fun stuff. Um, you can follow me on Twitter. Yeah, it's barely working, but it's pretty much the only plat like platform I use. I don't have a blue sky, and nobody gave me an invite code. Um, but yeah, uh, ghoulish underscore gabs on Twitter. You e I even have a Discord. A link to that Discord is under there. If you haven't joined yet or anything. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Um, all right, Ko-Fi, um, a one-time donation of $2 or more on Ko-Fi, um, and you will get your name shouted out at the end of every stream or video, such as past contributors Bennett Ballard, Noor, and Rob Bergman. Thank you again, guys. I appreciate you guys, um, coming on in and doing all that stuff, and until next video, stay safe, wear a seatbelt. Don't do drugs and beat up Nazis because Nazis suck and we hate Nazis over here like our pal Indiana Jones. All right. Well, bye, everybody.